Hi there, AP Chem teachers. My name is Jeremy Krug, and I'm the chief content creator for the AP Chemistry Ultimate Review Packet, your best review resource to get your students ready to take the AP exam and to help review and reinforce chemistry concepts throughout the year. In this video, I'm going to share the top five mistakes made by AP Chemistry teachers. Over the last quarter century that I've taught this course, I've worked with teachers from around the country and I've helped them identify some of the mistakes that might be keeping their students from scoring that four or five on the exam. So let's take a look at some of those mistakes. That way you can avoid making them. First of all, mistake number one, they don't pace themselves as they teach the course. It's important to realize that AP Chemistry is a huge course. It covers two semesters of general college chemistry, covering a whopping 91 topics spread over nine units. That means that over a typical school year, if you take three to four weeks per unit on average, that will get you through all nine units before the AP exam with a couple of weeks to review at the end. I recommend to teachers that they set a goal of being done with unit four by Christmas before the end of December. Unfortunately, what some teachers do is they spend way too much time on units one and two. They work their way through these early units very slowly. And then by the time they get to April, they've left out units seven, eight, and nine completely. And those three units occupy well over a third of the AP Chemistry exam. Remember, if a student wants to score a five on the exam, they'll need to answer 75 to 80% of the questions correctly. When teachers cover only 60 or 70 percent of the curriculum, it's essentially impossible for their students to score that five, and even a four may be out of reach. They've already crippled their students right out of the gate. So make sure that you pace yourself and teach the entire curriculum. Now you have to plan very well and stick to a strict schedule to make this happen, but it's very important. Mistake number two, a lot of teachers spend way too much time on introductory material. Remember, AP Chem is a second year chemistry class. Students should have already had a first year honors chemistry or pre-AP chemistry class before enrolling in AP. That means that when they walk into your room for AP Chem, they should already know the basics about elements, compounds, the periodic table, moles, chemical reactions, how to write formulas, naming compounds. So any reteaching that you do of these introductory concepts from first year chemistry should be quick. Two weeks tops. If you spend too much time on that introductory material, you're basically stealing time from the nine units that you'll need to complete in order to get through the AP curriculum. Mistake number three. A lot of teachers don't do the labs. I know that this curriculum is huge, and because of that, some teachers tend to leave out laboratory experiments in order to get through the content in all nine units. And I understand this is very tempting. Labs seem time consuming. It takes time for students to get into the lab and to do an experiment. They have to write a lab report. You have to grade that lab report, and you have to prepare chemicals, prep the labs. However, it's important to do these experiments. In fact, some labs are absolutely necessary in order to get through the curriculum. For example, acid-base titrations. This is a fundamental part of Unit 8. If students never get to perform an acid-base titration, they won't fully comprehend what you're talking about when you teach titration curves and acid-base indicators and even learning about buffers. It's a lot easier for students to do the lab and understand what's happening instead of just having to talk around it or explain what the experiment is. Labs are a really good time investment. Now, that does not mean that you have to do every single lab experiment in the official AP Lab workbook, which you can find on the AP Course Audit website. But make sure that students have an opportunity to do some good laboratory experiments throughout the year. The fourth mistake that a lot of teachers make in teaching AP Chemistry, they let the textbook dictate their curriculum. Don't let a textbook tell you what to teach. I know some teachers will find a giant textbook that has been bought for their course. It weighs about a hundred pounds. It costs about two dollars a pound and they feel that they have to go through that textbook and they literally start with chapter one and they go through that page by page and then they do chapter two 
and then chapter 3, and so on. And by the time they get to the end of the year, maybe they've gotten through a dozen chapters if they've done a good job. Well, there's a problem with this. A lot of the important parts of the AP curriculum are found in the later chapters of the book. For example, kinetics makes up almost 10% of the AP exam, and it doesn't appear until chapter 13 or 14 in most chemistry textbooks. Electrochemistry and thermodynamics are important too, but normally they don't appear until chapters 18, 19, or 20 in most chemistry textbooks. So if you follow the textbooks, you're going to be teaching bits and pieces of the AP curriculum essentially by accident. Don't make that mistake. Focus on the nine units in the course. Remember, your textbook can be a resource, but it's just that, a resource. Don't let it be a dictator of what you do in your classroom. And now for the fifth mistake made by AP chemistry teachers. A lot of teachers don't allow enough time to review before the exam. Remember, the AP exam is the first full week in May, and some teachers struggle to complete the curriculum to the point where they're literally racing across the finish line and finishing Unit 9 just a couple of days before the exam with little to no review. Don't make that mistake. Try to finish Unit 9 and the entire course material by about the first week in April, if at all possible. That way, you can devote the last three or four weeks of that time before the AP exam to review. And by the way, if you're looking for the best AP Chemistry review resource out there, check out my Ultimate Review Packet. It has review resources for every single one of those nine units, as well as two full AP practice exams in the Digital AP Exam Simulator. So, those are the five most common mistakes made by AP Chem teachers. Now you know, so you can avoid those mistakes. Hey, thanks for watching. My name is Jeremy Krug. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.